Indeed, that breaking news. The Forest Hill School Board decided just about an hour ago to drop a controversial resolution. So the so-called Culture of Kindness resolution aimed to ban certain types of learning, including anti-racism and gender identity at the district. This was initially introduced in June of 2022, shortly after it was put on hold until right now. WLWT News says Meredith Stutz, she's live there in Anderson Township where this decision just came down a short time ago. Meredith, a lot of people in attendance at this. Yes, you know, I was actually just checking the date and it has been about 18 months to the day of this entire journey of this culture of kindness resolution that has turned into a controversy, which has turned into a lawsuit that as of today is now officially settled. So yes, we're here at the Forest Hill School District Central Office, and that is where people gathered before sunrise at dark, families who are among the plaintiffs and supporters of that lawsuit. And we didn't know exactly what was going to happen today, but we figured it out very quickly that the board was gathering for a special session to which they voted to settle that lawsuit. They went away for a special session and then came back and voted unanimously and you see the board voting there you also see a lot of people who showed up in the basement of the central office to offer their support and to see what would happen in real time although some people said that they were confident of today's decision before that vote took down other people said that they were holding their breath still saying we didn't know what was going to happen we just wanted to see it play out in real time but the board did vote to rescind that resolution unanimously. Now we also did just receive in the last few minutes a statement from the Forest Hill School Board. I want to read a little bit of that to you. It says, quote, this settlement is not an admission of liability or wrongdoing and the board denies that the resolution violates anyone's legal rights. Rather, the board chose to resolve the matter to avoid the unnecessary distraction. Rather, the board chose to resolve the matter to avoid unnecessary distraction from the important business of educating children and also cease the cost of litigation that would burden taxpayers. The district's liability insurance will cover the settlement costs to the plaintiff's attorneys. Again, you heard that settlement cost. That is part of the settlement is not only rescinding that resolution, the culture of kindness resolution, but also covering attorney's fees through the insurance of the school district. I was speaking to plaintiffs, Stephen and Kelly, who told me that they were not seeking damage charges. They just wanted to see this resolution rescinded. And as of this morning, about 7.15 this morning, it that happened unanimously. And that was met with applause and cheers and even tears in the room. And also we even saw one of the board members members tearing up as well. She was um, in the minority. She actually voted against that resolution when this all started 18 months ago. And now she took time today in addition to announcing her vote to rescind it. She took time to say that she um, just stood in solidarity with the parents and with the plaintiffs and the students and staff of Forest Hills. And that council uh, board member is actually not seeking re-election. And this is among the final things that she will do as a member of the Forest Hills School Board. Now, I also did receive a, a stack of papers, which includes uh, releases and also statements from the plaintiffs. I want to read you one that includes uh, parents saying, my family can breathe a little easier with the repeal of this resolution. This is not just a win for the students, faculty, parents, and community members who look like us, but for anyone who has felt unseen and unheard this past year. Now, immediately following that vote, we were able to speak with not only that board member, but also plaintiffs, families, and even a student who identifies as transgender and multiracial. So you're going to hear from all those people coming up later today on WLWT. Reporting live in Anderson Township, Meredith Stutz, WLWT News 5.